It's all right. I've got them. My babies. They're not damaged. I'm really sorry. Do you realise what you just did? Calm down, Vera. They're going to be all right. We just need to make a new nest. But who's going to keep our eggs safe and warm in the meantime? Me! I can keep them warm if you like. I can keep them warm in the sun. Hmm. It seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Do you think we can trust him to keep them safe? I think so. Very well, then. I'll be very careful. All right. You'd better be careful. Eggs are extremely fragile. Come on, Vera. Let's go and get some twigs for the nest. We'll come back very soon. Don't worry. I'll be here. You can count on me. Oh, no. You're going to be cold. <laughs> Mowgli. Can I help you? Uh, uh, no, everything's fine, Cor. Why? You look a bit pale. Are you sure that everything's all right? No, actually, I'm very busy. I have to go. <laughs> Give me those four eggs. <laughs> no, Cor! These aren't yours! Go and get yourself some other food! Oh, look at those clouds. How is Mowgli going to keep our eggs warm now? We have to trust him. Come on, let's speed up. Can you go and get some spiderweb thread to make the nest stick better to the branch? Good idea! I never want to see our nest fall ever again. I won't be long. I'll teach you, Mowgli. Don't worry, little ones. There's not much sun, but I've got a great idea to keep you warm. Thank you. I'm lucky you were there in time. This has got to be the worst day we've ever had. We're going to be all right, my Vera, I promise. Come on, we need to hurry and get back to Mowgli and our eggs. <laughs> Baloo, quick! Uh, uh, what? Baloo, I need your help. It's very urgent. I dropped a bird's nest. I'm looking after the eggs, and Kaur is after me. He wants to eat them. Can you keep the eggs warm for me? Uh, what? Uh, what? Be really careful. They're fragile. I need to go back to their parents. I've got a plan to lure Kaur away. I'll come back soon to pick them up. <laughs> Thank you, Blue! Um, no. 
<laughs> where have you been? We were worried sick. And where are our eggs? Car chased me to get your eggs, but don't worry, they're safe with my friend Baloo. Car, that nasty egg-eating snake. We need to teach him a lesson, and we have to get him away from your eggs for good. All right, but we need to hurry, Mowgli. The eggs are going to hatch. We've got to get them back into the nest right now. I'll go and get your eggs, and you take these pebbles. You know the eagle nest up on the cliff next to Bee Rock. Well, well, well. What have we here? Oh, uh, Car, what a surprise. <laughs> uh, how are you today? <clears throat> you wouldn't happen to have seen your little friend Mowgli, would you? Uh, no. I, I mean, I mean, yes. I, um, well, uh, <laughs> I, I think I did. Ah, interesting. Any idea where he may have gone? He, he went that way. I don't understand. Which way, Baloo? <laughs> that way. <laughs> Something is not quite right with you today, Baloo. I'd like to know what it is. Baloo, huh? everything's fine. I've put the eggs in the eagle's nest, high up on the cliff. Car will never find them that way. Oops. Car, I hadn't seen you. Oh, no. Well, man cub. <laughs> Thank you for revealing the location of my next meal. Thank you for everything. It has been a true pleasure, really. You outsmarted me this time, Car. Well, someday, maybe, you'll have my wisdom and experience, Mowgli. In the meantime... In the meantime, he's going to have pebbles to eat. <laughs> You're going to have to explain all this, Mowgli. I'm just... Uh-oh. What's wrong, Baloo? Oh, no! One of the eggs is starting to hatch. Oh, be careful. If that chick sees you first, it'll think that you're his father. <laughs> oh, no. Follow me. Thank you, Mowgli. And that's two! Oh, what are we going to call them? How about Mowgli and Baloo? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've gone off eggs. <laughs> I love the rainy season. <laughs> the best season for gooseberries. If we ever find any. 
Patience, Mowgli. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> yes, lucky you didn't hurt yourself. It's just a bit slippery with the rain. Baloo, look. No wonder we couldn't find any gooseberries. Stop it. Those aren't for you. Wangoo! Oh, yes, of course. This is your hill, and you have company coming. I, I quite forgot. Uh, we'll, we'll be on our way. Good, thank you. On your way, then. What a grumpy bird. What did you mean, company? The cranes. Yeah, for some reason, Rangu thinks the world of them. Every year when they migrate, he prepares mats and food so they can stop and rest. Well, let's leave him to... <laughs> should go. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> we won't bother you again. <laughs> I hope not. Would it have hurt to just slide down that hill one more time? I wouldn't go down that thing for all the gooseberries in the jungle. Speaking of which, let's get back to berry picking. Blue, how about we split up? That way we could find more. I'll go this way, you go that way. If you find any, call out. When Mowgli has a full basket, we'll snatch it from him. <laughs> Where's he going? Doing? You're supposed to be picking gooseberries. How do you know that? Anyway, it's none of your business what I'm doing. Sounds like somebody's not where he's supposed to be. Maybe we'll just go and tell Baloo. Oh, wait! Fine. Come with me, but stay quiet, will you? Of course. You have our word on it. It's there. Please, just hurry, will you? Oh, look at these! <laughs> Leave those alone! They're not for you! Hey, how does that feel? Stop it! Gooseberries! Oh, yummy! <laughs> you judge those, I'll peck you like you've never been pecked! <laughs> you came back to slide down that hill again, and you said you wouldn't! No, it's because we saw your friends. The friends that, that these are for. The cranes? Yes, the cranes. Huh? What? Where? Are they coming this way? No, that's the thing. Um, they were, um, they landed over at the lake. I think they were lost. That's not it. It's just that I didn't know where they were going or I would have helped. How could they get lost? They come here every year. Oh, um, you know, I don't think they're lost at all. I think they want to throw you a party. But you didn't hear it from me. Oh, my! How wonderful! <laughs> I can't believe you lied to him. Easy, right? A quick lie and he's gone, just like that. <laughs> now, let's have some fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> and who's going to stop us? I am. Silly little fish. So easily scared. Uh, Tobacco! Ah! Oh! Have you seen the cranes? What cranes? Right here, by the river. 
There were never any cranes here. What gave you that idea? Not what? Who? It was Mowgli and those monkeys. Huh? Mowgli? You go back and keep him there. I have an idea how we can make him pay for sending you all over the jungle like this. Yes, that boy deserves a good talking to. Oh, he'll get a lot more than that. Stop it! Please! <laughs> <laughs> I said stop! Thank you. How is this not bothering me again? Well, um, this isn't what was supposed to happen. I'll fix everything, I promise. Just go. Leave me to wallow in my disappointment. All right, but I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Come on. Wait. Didn't we agree that we were going to teach Mowgli a lesson? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No one ever said anything about bringing him up here. L listen, you. This is my hill. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> you must be getting old, going after a bird instead of me. You just like the taste of feathers. Or am I too hard to catch? Too hard to catch. <laughs> Was your idea? <laughs> that was close. Look at this place. Look at it. I am sorry. I'll clean it all up. I promise. Hello, Lengu. Oh, not as nice as it was last year. Uh -huh. Wait! There's a reason the mats and fruit aren't ready, because... Rangu was too busy building you this! Come and see! The perfect way to relax after a long migration. <laughs> Baloo! Baloo! I need your help and I need your berries. They're for Rangu. My berries? For Rangu? What have you been up to, Mowgli? <laughs> Good as new. Rangu! We've got it all cleaned up! Rangu? You really outdone yourself this time, Rangu. Absolutely. The best ever. Thank you. I've been working on it for ages. Won't you take a turn? Oh. Uh, don't mind if I do. Oh, and um, help yourself to some gooseberries. I gathered them myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the one you want? Yes, perfect. 
Those are good for fever. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's amber. Tree resin that has solidified over time. Huh? Now, let's get rid of it before it causes trouble. Why? Because there are animals that believe that contained in amber is the power of all the animals that have come before us. All the power of all the animals? So, does whoever finds it get that power? That is what the legend mm. says. There are still many animals who believe in it, and they do anything to get it. Amber. I know someone who'll be happy with that. <laughs> Amber, really? Can you imagine if I held that stone? No one could stop me. I would be the undisputed king of the jungle. Oh, and that would make me prince. Just get me that amber. <laughs> Why did you keep that piece of amber? I told you it would be trouble. Now that it's been stolen, let's just hope it hasn't fallen into the wrong hands. His Majesty Shere Khan has an announcement to make to his subjects. Yes, as you can see. The Amber has chosen me, and now I am your invincible king. Do not fear. I shall be kind to those subjects who serve me well. Obey me, and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> so, you'll give us lots of nice things to eat? Yes, and much more. I'll be at my lair, awaiting my prize. Bring me the man cub. <gasps> And I will make it worth your while. Being a prince is reward enough for me. Help with the man cub's capture and we'll see if you deserve that title, Jackal. Wait, nobody really thinks that Shere Khan is invincible, do they? Those who believe in the legend do. While Shere Khan has that amber, you aren't safe. And you have to stay in hiding. He's here. He's here. I'll get the amber back and get rid of it at the waterfall. <laughs> I'll help you catch Mowgli, and you can keep your reward. I just want him gone. <laughs> if the man cub wants the amber back, he'll come back to Shere Khan to get it. No 
escape this time. See you later, Shere Khan. <laughs> oh, no. See you around. Down we go. He's coming. Get ready. We've got you. Hey, wait for me. I'm the prince. <laughs> Get off me, you fool! The man cub is getting away! I can't! I'm stuck! Look what you've done! You bunch of good for nothings! Amber! We can't turn on Mowgli because of a silly legend! He's our friend! Isn't friendship stronger than your fear of Shere Khan? This could be useful. Foolish jackal! Oh no! You're mine, man cub, and so is the amber. Jump on my back! We'll wait for Mowgli at the waterfall. I know a shortcut. Thanks for your help. Don't thank me. Thank your friend Baloo. He convinced me to help you. I will. But first I have to get to the waterfalls and make sure the amber is lost forever. Me? Looks like we have an audience. Good. Now all the jungle can watch as I get rid of this amber forever. Can't hold on. Not while you've got your paw wrapped around the stone. It doesn't make you stronger. The amber makes you weak. Uh. <sighs> I don't need anyone's help. The amber makes me invincible! If you think a legend can save you... <laughs> we brought everyone here to show them that the legend of the amber is just that. A legend. At least the amber won't cause any more problems now. Maybe a fish will find it. <laughs> then he'll think he's invincible. No, to believe an old story like that one, you'd have to be as empty-headed as them. 
How dare you speak like that to the Prince of the Jungle? Wake up, Your Majesty. There's no more Invincible King, and there's no more Prince. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> At last, you're mine. <laughs> the big nasty cat has turned into a little mouse. <laughs> Masha the magician. You'd better run, little mouse, or the great queen will catch you. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to him? Shere Khan is finished. I, Masha, am the new queen of the jungle. I am your new leader. <laughs> and then Masha turned Shere Khan into a mouse. Or at least he sounded like one. <laughs> Into a mouse, you say? <laughs> what nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Icky! Huh? <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> They're destroying our home! <laughs> <sighs> Where do you think you are? At home! Like everywhere else in the jungle. Don't you know I'm your queen now and you're my subject? You are the queen of, of foolishness, Masha. Keep an eye on these two. I don't trust them. And let me know what they're up to. What shall we do now? We're going to pay a visit to Shere Khan. It can't be true. <coughs> Master? Go away and leave me alone. I'm no one's master anymore. But who's going to feed and protect me now? Icky was right. Shere Khan sounds like a mouse. <laughs> he does sound awful. But I know what's wrong with him. Shere Khan only has a sore throat. What do you mean? All he needs to get back to normal is some honey. Oh, that should be easy. We must hurry before Masha smashes the whole jungle. The meddling bear! Let's go and tell Masha! I have a very important message for the new queen of the jungle. The jackal wants to speak to the queen. The jackal wants to speak to the queen. The jackal wants to speak to the queen. The jackal may come. The jackal may come. The jackal may come. The jackal may come. <laughs> oh, great queen of the jungle. With your magical powers and my intelligence, we could do great things together. <laughs> the bear cub and the bear are trying to bring Shere Khan back. What? They must be stopped. Find them and... Your Highness, I couldn't help hearing. I can help you catch them. I always find them when I need to. But why would you want to do this? I want to serve you, all-powerful queen. Compared to your greatness, Shere Khan is a speck of dust. At last someone realises this. I want you to be in charge. Mona, Mira, do what he says and bring back the man-cub and the bear. <laughs> Finally! Oh, I'm starving. You must leave some for Shere Khan. That should do the trick. Look, Baloo, I'd bring a sling. With these crazy monkeys around, it could be useful. Now let's go to Shere Khan.
Oh, what's going to happen to me now? No one will look after me. Tabaki? <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll soon... <laughs> Don't get away with this, Jackal! Shut him up! <laughs> to Queen Masha! <laughs> Here are your prisoners, O oh Queen, as you requested. Wonderful! You're a genius, Jackal! You've done well. And since you are my most loyal subject, you will be my special advisor. Ooh! You won't regret it, my queen. So, Man Cub, how are you going to stop me now? <laughs> You're right. I won't. But Shere Khan is still around. How do you know he won't come back? Unless you face him again. Then you could ban him from the jungle and show everyone how great you are. No one tells me what I should do, man cub. I'll get my throne ready. We're going. <laughs> Shame you won't be there to see it. Lock them in. <laughs> and you two stay here with them to make sure they don't escape. That's all very good, Mowgli, but how are we going to get out of here and get to Shere Khan on time? Don't worry, Baloo. I have an idea. We've got a nice mango here. You can have it if you want. Oh, it doesn't fit. What a shame. It looks delicious. <laughs> well done, Mowgli. Enjoy the mango. <laughs> Baloo, we'll meet at Shere Khan's den. I'll get the honey from where I left it. <laughs> Traitor! On Mowgli. Queen Masha wants to face you again, and if you refuse, you must leave the jungle. I refuse. Shere Khan refuses to fight. He is leaving the jungle. Hurrah for Masha! <laughs> Khan won't fight. He's leaving. We must get the honey to him. That shouldn't be too difficult. Follow me. You're wise to leave. You didn't stand a chance against me. <laughs> Come to me, Zabaki, and celebrate my victory. Wait, Shere Khan. What? <laughs> Happy man cup. Don't leave. Masha doesn't have any special powers. You've just lost your voice. What was it you were saying? I'll use my powers on you if you don't let me go. I'm sure you need an advisor. Yes, we do need you a 
advice, actually. What happens when a tiger is very angry and chases after you? You run! <laughs> <laughs> It is a sign. Tonight, there will be a red moon. And we wolves shall all gather for the howling. Oh, will we be allowed to join in this year, Arcala? Yes, Bala. You are big wolves now. It is time that you join the ceremony. What about me? You. You can't come. You're not a proper wolf. Silence, Peona. Mowgli is just as much one of us as you are. Yes, Mowgli, you may come too, but you must practice your howling. Uh, don't worry, I can do it. <laughs> oh, poor Mowgli. Is this the best you can do? You know, if you can't howl, you can't come to the ceremony tonight. I will be at the howling. I just have to practice until I get it right. We'll help you, Mowgli. Good luck. Oh, how easily Mowgli fell for my lie. <laughs> <laughs> what is that terrible noise? Don't worry, I'll get it. Of course you will, Mowgli. <laughs> if someone doesn't stop waking me up with that awful noise, they're going to be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to this once and for all. There's no good. I'm going home. No, let him go. He'll be all right. Well, I can't see anything wrong with your throat. There must be. Oh, here, try some honey. That's always good for throats. <laughs> That's it. I give up. Ooh. Oh. I'll never get to go to the howling. It's worse than that, Mowgli. If you don't howl properly at the ceremony, you'll be banished from the pack. What? It's true. My advice? Leave the jungle altogether before you're humiliated in front of the whole wolf council. You're right. I'll go. <laughs> My plan worked. Got you! Now, will you stop that awful howling and let me get some sleep? Bala, Lali, have you seen Mowgli? No, we thought he was with you. <laughs> he's run off and I have no idea where he's gone. He was worried about his howling. Don't worry, Baloo. We'll find him. <laughs> Leave me alone, Shere Khan. What? Why aren't you afraid? I'm leaving the jungle forever. There. That should make you happy. Hmm? Well, that's a shame. I enjoy our little chases. Tell you what. How about just one more for old time's sake? <laughs>
can't get away, little man. Oh, yes, I can! Beat that, Khan! <laughs> Thought you could do it better than me, man cub. <laughs> Shikon! That can only mean one thing! He's found Mowgli! <laughs> Must have lost him. Or maybe not. Thank goodness! It's <laughs> only you! <laughs> Why did you run away, Mowgli? Iona said that if I couldn't howl, I'd be thrown out of the pack. What? But that's nonsense. No one gets thrown out for not howling. Really? Of course not. Peona was lying to you. Oh. Well, at least I can stay. Oh. Well, well, well. Three for the price of one. This is turning out to be a good day. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <gasps> well, it's been fun, but now it's over. Oh, no, it's not. Quick, follow me. <laughs> He's too big to get through that gap. Yes, but we can't get out. You know, this is a very old building. The walls crumble so easily. See? Howl oh, for help. They won't hear you from in there. We have to get out. The only way is through the roof. That's too high for us to jump. You have to climb out and call for help, Mowgli. How do you know it's him? I'd know my cubs howl anywhere. Everyone, quick, follow me! Well, it would appear to be lunchtime. Let them go! You're in no position to be giving orders, man cub. Any last requests? Uh, go away and never come back? Quest denied. <laughs> You're outnumbered, Khan. Leave now. <laughs> you are a true wolf, Mowgli. No, I'm not, Arkayla. I couldn't howl like a wolf. I had to use this. But, Mowgli, Howling doesn't make a wolf. Bravery makes a wolf. The important thing is that you saved your brother and sister. You have truly earned your place at the Howling. Well, Mowgli, you made it to the Howling. 
despite Peona's efforts. Where is Peona anyway? Do you care? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go, you silly snake! <laughs> I'm missing the howling! <laughs> Tabaki! <laughs> you will be, man cub! Come on, slow coach! Call this a race! I demand another race. No, let's play another game. Truth or dare? Fine. Mowgli, I dare you to... Um, I dare you to... Oh, uh... Pluck a whisker from Shere Khan's chin. Who said that? Huh? I didn't say that. We just heard you. But I didn't. <laughs> I mean, come on. There's no way Mowgli would have the courage to do that. Yes, I have. You wouldn't dare. I would. You <laughs> wouldn't. I will. <laughs> what? No! Mowgli, don't! <laughs> <laughs> and you just let Mowgli go? We tried to stop him, Baloo. But he wouldn't listen to us. It's my fault. I shouldn't have goaded him. <sighs> Everyone makes mistakes, Bala. We just have to remedy this one before it's too late. I wonder how hard it is to pluck a whisker from a tiger. Hmm. <laughs> Mowgli, what do you think you're doing? Sorry, Bagheera. I was just practicing. I didn't think it would hurt you that much. You out of your mind? It seems to me you didn't think at all. Wait, practicing? For what? Uh... <laughs> Pluck a whisker from my chin? Has the man cub gone mad? Well, clearly. And he's coming here, thanks to me planting the idea in the first place. Pause off, <laughs> Jackal. <laughs> you will only get this bone if I get the man cub. Right then. I'll just, uh, check on the man cub's progress. Mowgli! This is insanity! You can't do it! I, I won't let you! A dare's a dare, Bagheera! Bala said I didn't have the courage to do it, but I do! I'm going to get that whisker! Oh, of all the silly ideas. All right, but you'll need my help. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just hope we're not too late to stop Mowgli from from carrying out this silly dare. Let's hope Shere Khan isn't at his lair. Then maybe we can stop Mowgli before he can find him. <laughs> 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 Do you mind? <sighs> I'm late. Shere Khan's expecting me. Tabaki, are you saying he's not at his lair? Of course he's not. He told me to meet him at the, uh, uh... Hang on. Why should I tell you? I don't answer to you. Nope, I'm not telling you. Wherever Shere Khan is, Mowgli will be looking for him. Stop, Tabaki! Tell us where he is! <laughs> hey, wait! Huh? 
Are you sure about this, Mowgli? You don't have to do it. I just need some backup plans. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Still not telling you! <laughs> Come on, Tabaki! Why not? <laughs> Bala! Lali! Quick, catch this! You've been leading us on a wild goose chase, Jackal, away from Shere Khan's lair. We need to get back there. Come on! No, wait! Stop! I'll tell you where Shere Khan is now! <laughs> Honestly, cross my paws and hope to die! Curses! I'll never get that bone now! <laughs> Remember, Mowgli, pull and run. And if there's any sign of trouble... Don't worry. I've got backup plans now. So have I. Time for this moment. Not so fast, Shere Khan. <laughs> Hold on, Mowgli. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Did you get the whisker? No, but there's still a chance with my backup plans. Just a few more steps. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was that trap for me? Catch me if you can, Shere Khan! I didn't fall for that one, either. I'm afraid Tabaki was telling the truth. Shere Khan's scent has gone cold. Hey, pause off. I earned that bone. You want it? Tell me where Shere Khan is. Now! But I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Kira. A word. <laughs> Let's go. I've got what I came for. <laughs> Good luck with that tobacco. <laughs> That's mine, I believe. <laughs> dare completed, Barla. Now it's your turn. Truth or dare? Truth. Truthfully. 
Do you believe that a man cub is as brave as a brother wolf? Yes, I do. But the man cub is a lot wilder. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>